There is an interesting rumor going around involving Nintendo and Xbox. So if you've kind of been paying attention to the gaming news lately, Xbox is supposedly going to be sending a lot of its first party titles to multi-platform. Yeah, we might be seeing different Microsoft properties on Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. It's going to be kind of like a weird third party ecosystem. And this has kind of been the speculation in recent years, especially ever since the Activision Blizzard acquisition and ZeniMax and all that. It seems like Xbox is more focused on Game Pass as their model and also, I guess, licensing out their IPs and their properties. We recently saw it with Banjo-Kazooie finally coming out to the Nintendo Switch Online service, as well as GoldenEye and a few other games that we've seen come out through the radar but now with the switch 2 rumors and innuendo coming out we're starting to see a lot more gossip a lot more juice in the gaming world so take all this with a grain of salt of course all this is being reported through quote unquote industry insiders that may or may not be reliable but a lot of times looking at this type of stuff just kind of gets me excited it gets me pumped up especially because we're in the countdown for the switch 2 so yeah there's a whole spiel going on that there's going to be some xbox first party games coming out to consoles such as the switch or even the switch 2 and yeah the whole this whole activision blizzard acquisition has just caused such a stir in the gaming industry and i've been excited for it since day one because there's going to be a huge impact on it especially when you equate the 10-year deal that microsoft made with nintendo to put games like call of duty on their consoles for the next decade that's going to be big now is the switch or even the switch 2 going to be able to run a call of duty game who knows at this point honestly that's one thing that i talked about recently how it sounds like the switch 2 is still going to be an underwhelming console as far as like big powerhouse specs go but who knows right that remains to be seen so now the rumor is there's a huge major xbox first party title that was in contender for game of the year talks slightly this last year this is hi-fi rush now this was according to nate the hates podcast i'm not really familiar with the nate the hate podcast but supposedly it's a reputable source for gaming news and that they've had some predictions and rumors and stuff go out and actually happen so i guess it seems to be a credible source which is cool now apparently hi-fi rush is going to be going multi-platform in 2024 sometime and i don't know it to me i played it when it first came on to game pass it kind of has like a jet set radio type of vibe to it, it was really cool and all uh and yeah hi-fi rush i feel is at least favorable against most gamers and i think it will fit in regards to like the i guess the switch capabilities and stuff but i want something more right yeah it's cool microsoft and nintendo have been working pretty good in the past like i said they brought banjo kazooie and golden eye and even in the past we've had like minecraft come over and stuff like that uh but but now it's like okay you got to start somewhere right what else could we possibly see with this whole activision stuff with the call of duty the hi-fi rush everything popping up maybe we'll see another beloved video game series make its return to the nintendo library ecosystem what do you want to call it i'm thinking off the cuff right here but now there's rumors suggesting that we might even see a new banjo kazooie game a brand new banjo kazooie game from the ground up supposedly it's in development right now that it's currently in development that it's been greenlit by microsoft but of course we haven't seen anything details are very scarce there hasn't been an announcement but you think with a new nintendo console coming out these guys are going to want some bangers on this thing and what better way to get bangers and hype out than to have game franchises that are known for being on nintendo consoles in the past where the fan base basically all the nintendo fanboys grew up playing games like banjo kazooie and they have so many fond memories with it it's been one of the wish list oh we want a new banjo and for so long like i said everybody wanted banjo on the nintendo switch online service and it finally came out there so the possibility of banjo kazooie could definitely happen especially if microsoft is going out there and actually wanting to get i guess their franchises and their games that are first party multi-platform at this point 
And plus, they're willing to share all those classic titles that we just had, like GoldenEye and so forth, on the Switch Online service. So, yeah, now, you know, when you have this huge acquisition with Blizzard and all these games, I mean, look how long the, I guess, the mitigation process and negotiations took with that. Because there's a lot of classic titles out there. In with ZeniMax, I mean, we're thinking Skyrim. We're thinking Fallout. <laughs> we're thinking Call of Duty. We're thinking Spyro's Adventure. We're thinking Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I mean, just off along with those, those are like five of the biggest games that we can get that would fit on all platforms. That have already been on all platforms. And getting new games like the classics of the Jet Force Gemini and whatever else Microsoft has under their sleeve, they're prepared to make some noise as a company that licenses out. Now, as a, as a guy that appreciates the Xbox, I love the Xbox. It was exciting to see them get all these studios and get all these properties and stuff so it's like i guess their focus isn't making exclusives that's one thing that you always hear people say like nintendo kills it with the exclusive first party games and sony kills it with their exclusive first party games and it always seemed like microsoft just couldn't nail it and they bought up all these companies and it was curious to think hey are they going to i guess start to make their own first party games that are exclusive no, there really was no way around it because Sony made a stink during the Activision Blizzard acquisition and they didn't want like a monopoly and unfair, I guess, industry practices and all this stuff like that. To me, if you have the money to buy something, too bad, so sad. You didn't pull your wallet out. I did. I get first right to everything. I still would find a way to use those IPs and make my own exclusive game. Like, yeah, there could be a multi-platform Call of Duty, but maybe there'll be a Call of Duty game that's kind of like a spin-off that's exclusive only for Microsoft or, or whatnot, right? I'd find a way to make some exclusiveness still. But it doesn't seem like that's what Microsoft wants to do with Xbox at this point. It seems like their focus is and still will be Game Pass going into the next several years. They want to have this cloud-based gaming database service that people pay that gives you access to a variety of games and and i feel game pass is a great service i absolutely love it and it would be cool if one day maybe game pass goes to the other uh, platforms too could you imagine there's a, a game pass service on on switch too i think that would be pretty legit but yeah entering 2024 man there's a lot of anticipation uh with the switch 2 leading up uh that we want more powerful hardware that's focused on increased support from third-party companies and what better way to do it if microsoft throws its hat into the whole let's put our games on multi-platform i think i think that is only going to help the industry as much as i would want microsoft to have its own exclusives and stuff there's just something about certain games that microsoft owns like battle toads and you know banjo that i feel belong back at home on the nintendo and, 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 you know, for a while, people feel that Nintendo just doesn't get love from the third parties because often at times their consoles are also underdeveloped and underpowered. We'll see what happens. I think, you know, whether Hi-Fi Rush comes, Banjo-Kazooie, or whatever other surprises are in store with this whole thing, I think the collaboration between Microsoft and Nintendo is going to be big especially during this next year or so when when it comes out and you know just think of all the gaming experiences that we're going to get out here it's really exciting and again yeah all this is speculation all this is rumor we don't know what's you know confirmed or not because nobody's said anything but i think it's exciting this is an exciting time and and i want you guys to share your thoughts down below if you're watching this video share your thoughts let me know what you think about the possibility of microsoft putting their games out multi-platform do you think it's a big mistake do you think the whole that they're you know they can't exactly catch up to the sales of the playstation 5 so i guess maybe it's best if you just find a way to make money and distribute your game properties that are still valuable they're still valuable right so yeah i'd love to hear your opinions on these do you do you think hi-fi rush will be on the Nintendo Switch, this is that rumored first-party game that is going to be coming out according to Nate the Hate. And are you excited about the possibility of a brand new Banjo Kazooie game? I mean, that's kind of cool—a brand new one, not a port, not a remake. And honestly, what are your thoughts with Nintendo and Microsoft, like their collaboration or their, I guess, loose partnership going forward? You know, I, I don't know. It's 
exciting times, guys, and I want to have a good conversation. Make sure you hit that like button as well. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video to a friend. If everybody just shares one time, that boosts it out and helps out. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much. I will catch you on the next video. Take care.